guys. So I might have tried these already, at least this one. I don't know about this one, but I might have tried these in that big Miyoko's video that I did like two years ago, something like that. Miyoko's has updated their packaging, which I think is fantastic. I love this packaging so much. It's really fresh looking, but also really unique. I don't know. They've just done a fantastic job. I love it. And I didn't go back and watch the video to see if I'd actually tried this. I really don't remember what I thought about it. So I kind of want a, a new perspective, I guess, or I don't want to like influence myself, I guess. Anyway, this one is the classic double cream chive. It's cashew based. I think both of these are cashew based. This one is the sun dried tomato garlic double cream are both. Oh no, this is classic. This is double cream. I don't know what that means. Double cream, sun dried tomato garlic. Again, vegan cheese wheel. So I think I'm going to try the double cream chive first. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I tried this or something like this. I remember a softer cheese. I remember trying one of those. Oh no. Oh no, there's no peely. <laughs> oh wait, yes there is. Yes. I'm realizing now this is the worst place to record a taste test. Like why am I doing this here? I've got to hold it in here so you can see it. Oh, it smells real good. Sour cream and onion dip. Oh my God, I used to eat that with ruffles. Yeah. Okay, so I've got some crackers here. These are the Trader Joe's 12 grain mini snack crackers. They're mostly, yeah, they're mostly just white flour. They've got a bunch of other stuff in it. And it says vegan right that, there, so that's cool. Oh yeah, and it says on here. Okay, well this one says creamy and robust with deep Mediterranean flavor. That's the tomato. Great on crackers or melted on pasta. Oh my God, that sounds good. And then this one says buttery, savory, creamy chive flavor. Delicious on crackers in a sandwich or melted on potatoes. That sounds so incredible. Okay, I'm gonna try to do this <laughs> in view. I'm just gonna get a little bit. Okay, that's not a little bit. That's still a lot. Ta-da! That's really good. It's definitely very cashew-y. Very tart. Very, very tart. Man, I wish I had some ruffles to try it on. Because <laughs> that's like what I would eat with this. I mean, I'm trying to think of like, like what else would I have eaten with something like this? I, just ruffles. <laughs> definitely want to try it with potatoes though. Oh my god. Nice baked potato. Mm, that's going to be awesome, I think. Okay, the sun-dried tomato. That apparently is good on pasta. Where's the peely? Wait, that is it. What? Is it a fake peely? Oh my god. It's obviously supposed to be a peely, but there's no place to peel it. Help! They didn't cut it quite where it's supposed to be cut. Scissor time! Oh, that's not how I meant that. Oh, that smells awesome. That smells better than the other one. I'm just going to taste it first. Oh, it's so creamy. Same base again, the, the cashew coconut oil base. Definitely taste the cashew. Definitely still very tart, but then it's got the tomato. I mean, exactly what you would expect it to taste like. That's really good. I'm going to try it with a cracker. Yeah, I definitely like that one better. I would absolutely melt that onto pasta. Oh my God. What do you think? <laughs> That's it. Pretty good. Is this like, oh my God, I can't believe it's not real cheese. No, it's very obviously nut based, I would say. If you've ever had cashews before, I think you know immediately that this is cashew based, would you say? It's, it's got a very obvious cashew flavor. Okay, my partner doesn't really like cashews, but he said it's not, it's mild enough that it wouldn't bother him. He doesn't think it's that strong. I think it's very strongly cashews, but yeah, so I don't know. <laughs> I would say just try them, but this was expensive. This was $8.99, I think, for one of these. This is not at all cheap. It's like a special thing. It's it's fun. But yeah, this isn't going to fool anyone, anyone, I don't think. But none of the vegan cheeses are, at least the vegan cheeses that, that I've tried. I don't think anyone would go, oh yeah, that seems like real cheese. No, but it is tasty. And I think if you approach it that way, it's just a separate thing to try, just like a yummy nut-based like salty, tangy kind of thing. I think, I think it's good. I think a lot of people would like this as long as they're not expecting it to be cheese. So the big thing is that they are actually in stores now. I should have said that, I guess, first, because when we got these before, uh, with the old packaging, again, like two years ago, they were not in stores. I don't think anywhere. No, no grocery stores, at least. Whereas now, like we have, again, these, these are new in our store. We also have the, 
mozzarella in our store, just our regular grocery grocery store. And then the butter, they don't have at the store, but they do have it at Trader Joe's. Our Whole Foods doesn't have the butter, but they do have the mozzarella. That, that's it. But Miyoko's, they have a lot more stuff. If you go to their online store, they've got a whole bunch of different kind of cheeses, the harder cheeses, like the ones that I tried in, in the old video. Oh, and I think they have a, a cream cheese coming out. Is that right? They have a cream cheese coming out. I'm so excited for that. You guys know how I feel about the vegan options for cream cheese. They're not good. They taste weird and plasticky and awful. Uh, if anyone can make a really good cream cheese, I think it's Miyoko's. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you've tried these and what you think about them. Anywhere else that you have seen them, maybe somewhere that has a better price for them. Like Trader Joe's, the only thing they have again is the butter, but that's the best price by far that I've seen. They have it for $4.99. Whereas other places, it's like $7.99. It's, it's a really, really big difference. Um, yeah, Trader Joe's is awesome. They have such good price. What did we just find? Coconut milk that was super cheap. It was like $1.69 a can. That's the regular price. Whereas at the grocery store, it's like $3 something. It's crazy. Uh, anyway, thanks again. Comments and questions down below. Subscribe. That's awesome. Support the channel. Patreon.com slash Unnatural Vegan. And I will have a new video very soon. My partner said, Bioko, if you were watching this, send us some cream cheese to try. <laughs> that is awful. <laughs> I do not feel good about that. I don't know. I don't wanna I don't wanna get something that's like not in stores yet and I'm just like, mmm, this is delicious. Haha, <laughs> you can't have it. I don't know. I feel I know I'm already kind of doing that because there are people in areas that don't have access to like anything Miyoko's. They've never tried it before because it's not in their stores. But I don't know, getting something that's not even in stores yet. I don't know. I just I feel weird about that. And plus, I like the experience of going to the store and just being like, oh, that's in stores now. Awesome. I'm going to try it. That's like really exciting for me. Like the Ben and Jerry's, they have two new flavors, cinnamon roll and something else, something peanut butter, I think. And every time we go to the grocery store, I go to the like non-dairy ice cream section and see if it's there. And that's that's fun to me. That's part of the whole process. Anyway. Thanks again. Bye.